What's up everybody, walk about the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Roman Cook. Today on the channel, we're looking at what's in this box right here. This is the cast iron insert for the Yoder YS640S. Now Yoder sent this to me maybe a month ago. I've been doing, uh, maybe actually it's been a month and a half. I'm doing another video, so I haven't had a chance to actually open this yet. So today we're gonna open it, first time I'm using it, but what do you make when you have a griddle? Smash burgers, of course. So we're gonna open this up. To be honest, I have not made smash burgers on a grill. Uh, you know, I'm always making the quarter, half inch, or half inch, half pound burgers, because that's my thing. I like a big burger. Not that I don't like smash burgers, but I just haven't had a griddle to do them outside, so I've been doing them in a cast iron pan inside. But today, we're gonna crack this guy open. Now, this has two sides. So, and it's heavy, let me tell you. So we've got a raised side so you can get some grill marks. Then we've got a flat side here. If you have a 640, there's a good chance you've got grill grates for it. Grill grates allow you to open up that sear plate door and get up to 750, 800. They really suck up the heat. This is gonna work in the exact same way. We're gonna open up the door, let it get preheated, and then we'll get on the next steps. So let's, let's get this guy in there. First, we'll open up our door. So now we have this in place. We're gonna let it preheat. We're gonna give it 10 or 15 minutes. We'll take a temp reading on it to see where we're at. And then once it's up the temperature, then we'll bring out some bacon. Everything's better with bacon. So we're gonna put bacon on our smash burgers today. We'll cook that up first put it off to the side, and then we'll get into our burgers. It's been about 10 minutes. Yoder's set to 425. I think we're in a good temperature. Like I said, I haven't used this before, so we're kind of learning as we go. But if I look at it, you know, I got 420 on the middle and 360 up front, 380 in the back. So great thing about that is as we move our food around, we know that the front is the coolest spot, and then we got the back, and then we go right in the middle. So we can get our bacon on now. Let's get that on. Now this, this is double smoked bacon from Whole Foods. We'll put this on here. That's the sizzle we want. So this is probably gonna cook pretty quick, so don't be running away. If you're smart, you bring your drink out with you. Now, because this was the first use, I actually meant to put oil on it first, but I forgot. So it is sticking a little bit, but we'll turn it early. But as I expected, it is cooking quite quick. Smells like bacon. <laughs> Picked up the double smoked. I figured you can't have enough smoke in your bacon, so double smoked it was. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get out some patties, we'll probably do them about four ounces a piece, and then that'll give us a half pound burger once it's done. All right, just like that, our bacon's cooked here. I'm gonna put this in some paper towel just to take off some of that fat. All right. 
right, so the bacon's looking good. We're just gonna let that dry out. Get rid of some of the grease there. Just taking advantage of some of that grease will give that a coating. We're gonna let that get back at the temperature real quick. I'm gonna grab the beef and then we'll uh, get on the next steps. So to do this right, we need a couple tools. First and foremost, we need a burger press. Now these guys are actually from Ballistic Barbecue. My wife bought this for me at Christmas. I'm just using it now. It took me a little while, <laughs> but we're getting to it. Uh, and then we're using a mandolin. Why we use a mandolin? You really can't get super fine onions with a knife properly. So this is the best way to do it. See what we got. And these guys are pretty thin. I think we're going to go a little bit thinner. Now we're, we're closer to a sixteenth of an inch for this guy. And this will just help them cook nice and quickly. Right, like almost paper thin. That's how we want them for this guy. So let's get them on here. these guys on first and they're gonna cook super quickly so make sure you got all your stuff together I'm gonna give them just a splash of oil here this is just avocado oil. You want a high temp oil so it doesn't burn. And that's about all they need. So in here, got a piece of parchment paper and we've got some fresh ground beef, courtesy of my butcher. Parchment paper just helps it so it doesn't stick. Smash that away. And away we go. Now we're just going to let these guys cook up. Now they're going to cook quick, so don't go anywhere. Before these get too cooked, you want to make sure you got some seasoning on them. They're looking pretty good. This is just some Jacobson salt, salt and pepper. Well, on the top will be good. And you can start to see that we're getting some brown around the edges. We're almost there. Now the ballistic barbecue presses, they come in like three different sizes. Um, I wasn't sure which one to get. Looking at these, I think I might go down a different size just so I get them a little bit thinner, uh, but they're gonna cook down no matter what. But what it does is it, it allows you to get that nice round patty. Let's give these a turn and see where we're at. Could have went a little bit more. better. Oh. Remind me of fighting with an onion over here that doesn't want to let go. So we'll give those a few more minutes. Really not going to take long because they're nice and thin and we're hot. Temperature on that was about 450 when I put it on there. So we're in pretty good shape there. We've got a bun. We can start to get this toasted. And we're just gonna use up some of this oil. We'll throw them in the back here. Let them get toasted up. 
So it's only been about 30 seconds. This guy's looking pretty toasted. We're gonna move him around. Move these guys around and we're pretty much ready to plate. Let's clean up our mess a little bit. Quick tip, if you've got a mandolin, make sure you use the guard. <laughs> it's sharp, you'll take your fingers off. That guy there. Let's not rip ourselves off here. We made bacon for a reason. And I feel like we need a layer of bacon between our burgers. Another piece of bacon. Unfortunately, I didn't plan very well because I'm out of pickles. I'm not sure how that happened. Now I know there's some of you that are crying inside because I'm using yellow mustard, but <laughs> that's a Canadian thing. McDonald's, Burger King, it doesn't matter where you go to get a burger. It's always got yellow mustard on it. I'll tell you what, this thing has got to cool down for a second because this top bun is super hot, but it looks good. Let's let this cool down just for two minutes and then we'll do a taste test. Been just a couple minutes, let this guy cool down. Now, I don't know about you, but in my book, this thing looks delicious. I mean, come on, nice toasted, crunchy onions, juicing. Mm. That's a good burger. Wow. The uh, the bun, because it's cooked in that bacon grease, you get some bacon through the bun. Get a nice little chew of bacon. Burger's got some good flavor. Almost at a loss of words, what can I say? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's good. Happy that, it, that Yoder sent me this uh, cast iron griddle to try out. I'll definitely be using a lot more of it. I'm gonna play with some chicken as well. Um, I do a lot of chicken during the week, and I think using the other side of that's really gonna step up my game there. Uh, but just in general, I mean, nice texture on the burgers. I probably could have let it go a little bit longer uh, just to get that real crunch on the outside, but the flavor's there, the onions are good. Um, onions actually are a little crunchy, so you get some of that in there. Um, as a first attempt, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks as always for watching. Um, if you don't have this attachment or accessory, I guess, highly recommend you go out and get it. We're going to do lots of videos checking it out, but you know, just on my first opinion of it, really happy with it. I think it's a worthwhile accessory to have. Thanks as always for watching. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to sub subscribe. In the meantime, check out these videos below. I'll see you soon.